So I remember vividly meeting um, with other HR change makers and discussing, you know, organizational culture, employee engagement, and a lot of these topics. This was all prior to COVID. And so it was very much, a lot of the things are still present, right? Similar. But there's so much that has changed um, since COVID. So it's almost like COVID propelled us into becoming um, better organizations, I will say. Um, so for example, you asked about recruitment and selection, right? And so if you couldn't immediately move your processes, your systems, your employees to a virtual world, it was extremely, it was going to be extremely difficult for you. So for us on day one, we had 98% of our employees working remote, set up with their laptops, with you know data, everything that they needed to work remote. Now, with, with recruitment was still ongoing. <laughs> I was still, um, I remember there was two candidates that we were talking to who were outside the country. One was in the UK um, and I believe one was in, oh, in the US. So still had the interviews with them, of course, all remote. Um, and then we gave them the office. We sent them DHL to their laptops to them um, and set up their home office for them so that they joined our organization and were able to work. They actually worked um, remotes like that for a while until the borders were opened and they were able to relocate. So you have to be very nimble as an organization to respond to some of these changes from um, you know, the external environment. And we were able to do that. Um, I would say, but we could, because we're a technology company, a lot of people say that, oh yeah, you're voted for your technology company, so it's easy for you to you know, give people data and stuff. But I mean, it's also the mindset for me. So it's the mindset of leadership and the willingness and um, the thought that we can make this work. So of course, you have to put in place system to ensure that this works. Um, I think you mentioned performance culture as well. So that, yeah, so it, it kind of rolls into that. So to ensure that virtual working was actually working, you know, line managers was, were, was one of the most important, you know, cogs in the wheel to ensure that performance management was happening, that one, you were meeting virtually with your employees more often than, you know, for, for probably you would have if they were in the office and talking about performance. Um, so weekly, you know, Mondays, having a discussion with your immediate team, talking about, hey, who's working on what? You know, do you need any support from me? And then Fridays, let's catch up. Let's talk about this project that we're working on. Where are we? You know, are we there? If we are not, why are we not there? So the line manager's responsibility, one, performance management, and as a coach and as a mentor became very important. So we train all line managers on how to manage remote employees. And we trained all employees as well on how to work remotely. Um, and a lot of those interventions that we took, um, having webinars every, I think we were doing it like literally every couple of weeks um, with different topics. We brought our health partners on board. Um, they would send us doctors virtually to talk about, you know, economics, how you're sitting. Uh, some people were sitting in bed, not good um, to, do their, to do their work. Um, Let's see. The third thing I think that you mentioned is organizational culture. Yes, I talked about communication at Vodafone and why that's so important. I think that was a very key instrument for us during COVID. Um, so Patricia, our CEO, met virtually. So we had workplace chats, which was, I think we started it out every two weeks. We had Patricia speaking to all employees. Um, it was an open forum, open platform. If you had any questions to ask either Patricia, me, the EXCO, you could ask on the forum and your, your question would be answered. Um, and then we had weekly calls as well with our you know, business continuity team. So it was health and safety, it was um, security, it was all line, not all line managers, so key team members to talk about basically where are we this week? <laughs> what happened last week? Did anything come up in retail? Did anything come up? Um, at an exchange, etc. And what can we do about it? Our engineers who were still going into, you know, people's homes, um, do they have the right PPEs? Do we have any shortage anywhere? So with that, I mean, communication was very key in ensuring that we were keeping that organizational culture and underneath it was the get it down together spirit. And we truly 
we're able to, um, one, give phenomenal results.